Look at them all grown up. All grown up, all grown up, look at that. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Jamerica with Jamerica Life. I'm gonna give you an update on the garden, all right? So in here, I transferred all of the seedlings that I had um, on the grow station into the greenhouse. So I'm gonna let them harden off here. Hopefully all is well. I put them in some cement trays with some water. So hopefully that stops it from evaporating too quick because it was drying out really quick in the house, in the house. It's really dry out here, but I'm doing the best I can to keep stuff alive. So we'll see. We have all of them in here and they're in cement trays. I bought the small cement trays from the big box store. They're about $9. You can actually do plant in them, so that's good. I still have the trees in here. I never took the Barbados cherries out. And guess what I saw? Plants are gonna do what plants are gonna do. It grew out of the greenhouse. Look at this. So now I gotta figure a way to tuck it back in. It grew out of this greenhouse. These are grapes back here. They have never fruited, but I use the leaves for everything. But look at that, look at that Barbados cherry. Oh, and here's my friendly spider. Where is she? She was here, she keeps on moving her web, but there she is right there. I keep her here because she eats some of the bugs, mosquitoes especially. I put all of the plants into cement trays or into some kind of tray because I have to make sure they got water. They were passing away on me. This one right here dried out. I put them in these. I put them in anything I could find because this is what I get if I don't. Death. All right, <laughs> threw it out there. I got my avocado trees also in cement trays, see that? I got most of my trees in cement trays with the exception of this has avocado that is not, not, not doing well. One is doing good. It seems like one just good is dried out. Maybe that's why, huh, Jamaica? <laughs> I got my um, lemongrass. <laughs> yep, I put it in a tub with some water because it was drying out. It's turning brown on me. I gotta put more water in it because this thing, this thing drinks a lot. Lemongrass drinks a lot of water. Mm, this is basil that I need to water. My my trees, I've been watering them, but look, look at them. This is calamundin, and I guess they're ready. These things are sour. And you know what I'm gonna do with it? <laughs> I am going to make some lemonade out of it because they're sour, so I'm gonna mix it with sweet. Here's the other calamundin. This one looks a lot better, but it's shaded by this tree right here, this lime tree. And this lime tree is funny. I got one lonely lime way at the top where I can't get it. If you can see that, it's by itself. It's right there. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So my um, scotch bonnets or scotch bonneting, they are also in water. I did this yesterday. I put some water on this fig, but guess what? It drank it all, so I gotta put some more water on it. These are um, Cara Cara. They're doing fine. Sweet potato was in a box. I put it in there because I had sweet potato, so I said, well, let me go ahead and do something with it. So I put them in a pot, even though I have a whole yard full of sweet potato. You can never have too many, right? There's our um, dragon fruit right there and right there. I took the persimmon and put it over here because the choke looked like it wanted to go away and it was expensive and I got it on sale and I don't think I'm ever gonna find another one on sale. So I'll put it over here, banana bush. Hmm. These jokers should have went, came out. I have a plant here. I tried to move it yesterday. One of these, uh, uh, what is this, uh, plum tree? It's rooted, it's in the ground. Plants will root themselves in the ground. Let me show you another example of a plant rooting itself. We'll come back to the vegetables. But this is an oak tree that I put in a pot, right? If a plant wants to live, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna do what it does. It's gonna do what it does and break through a pot. Even if the pot is a clay pot. This is what this tree did. You see that? 
You see that? I felt sorry for the little sapling, so I put it in this clay pot and said, I'll plant it where I want later on. And now, look, I don't even know if it's an oak tree. I don't know what it is. It's one of one of the trees from in front. One of the saplings from in front. One of the, I planted it, look at that. And it planted itself, so it's, it's there. And this, this also planted itself. This is a um, Texas lilac. So I'll, I'll dig that out sooner or later, but look at that. It's planted. Don't think your trees won't root themselves because they will. They certainly will. The lemon, the, these are um, Myers lemons right here. And there goes a little rabbit. <laughs> See my little rabbit? Eating a piece of straw, Peter Cottontail. Isn't he cute? Uh-oh. He's like, she sees me. I know she sees me. They're cute until they eat your vegetables. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I am talking about you. He's like, yeah, she ain't coming over here. She busy. All right, Peter, I'm coming that way. So you have to run. This is the uh, pear tree. The one that I got the pears off of. I can't tell you what I think. It might be a Bartlett. It might be a Bartlett. This one right here. Look at those birds. Formation. And there goes uh, Ayers pear. Shinseki pear is right here. I told you these animals, they ain't something else. Shinseki pear is right here. I have two other Myers lemons here. My, um, now he runs. He ain't running fast though. He's like, whatever. I ain't got time for her. My, um, um, Moringa passed away. So, oh well. I got one here. And I believe this thing right here is what's eating my Moringa's because they are eating them down to the stem. You, you, sir. So, a lot of stuff is passed on. See that? Remember that little um, mixed plot I had? I have a couple of things that I'm gonna dig out if they survive, we'll see. So, in order for my potted uh, trees and my potted bell peppers to survive, I put them in cement trays and I put some water in it. Cause I, I, every day I come in here, I gotta put another one. You know what? Let's go and get a tub and um, I got a pool, a, a pet pool. And we'll put these in there because look at the leaves. This happens every day, shock. Uh, 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 uh. Well, that's a Swiss chart. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Still tarped. Not ready to put them in the ground yet, but that's where they're going. That's where they're going. And there is my okra. The best way to dry okra is to leave it on its stalk and let it dry naturally. Otherwise, it may mold on you. So, this is just a fine. Just leave it there until it's ready. And you can pick it off and go ahead and do what you want to do. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Y'all know what this is? This is the motherland okra. And yeah, it's big, but guess what? This is not woody. This thing does not turn woody quick. It does not. And there's so many of them. They're way taller than me. So I have to tippy toe and go ahead and get uh, 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 uh. Don't fall over, Jamaica. There we go. Um, I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna need a ladder. <laughs> There we are. It's still producing. Uh oh. Clemson spineless is still holding on, also. I like Clemson spineless because it doesn't have those pricklies. This one might be woody already. I think it is. That's the difference. This will turn woody. Whereas. This one will not. Motherland okra. Beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> Look at them. Let me show you the difference. This is the Clemson spineless, which looks like it's ready to go kaput on me. But the motherland okra is still going strong. 
I've already picked most of the stuff off, but look at it, it's still flowering. So there are differences in these varieties. Motherland okra seems to progress longer because they were planted at the same time than the Clemson spineless. Just a word to the wise. Pick, plant both. So, let's update on the bees. They're still here. I guess they're a little hot. They're hanging out on the stoop. I ain't getting no closer. But they're both hanging out. And that's one. And that's two. They are doing well. They're doing well. They're doing well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I am so happy. Happy, happy, happy. Yes. So I have a little pet bathtub that I have never used. And I'm going to put it to work because you got to use what you got, right? And I don't have anything else. And I don't want to go shopping. I don't want to go back out there because every time I go out there, I spend a bunch of money. So we're going to put that right here. right there and we're going to go ahead and put these uh, pepper plants in this tub yes we are let's get some water it's unfortunate well fortunate for me I had this thing. What else do I have? Why not? Lottie Dottie, everybody. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. And I'm going to fill it up about one fourth of the way. Some people might say that's too much. I say it's not enough, but it's going into shock. You wet the leaves down too. What's the sense in what's the sense in having plants and struggling with them this long and then you know at the end of summer when it's brutal <laughs> brutal <laughs> You let them die. You just give up. People give up. You know, all these months you're struggling with these plants, and at the very end, you're like, I can't take it anymore. Just people just start digging them out of the yard, tell you the truth. And I understand. Because it, it is discouraging. I mean, especially at the end of the summer, and you see stuff, it's not as pretty, but it's still producing. As long as the plant is still producing, guess what? I, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not pulling it out unless it passes on or it looks like it's you know looks like it's gonna pass on any sometime soon because these plants ain't cheap and oh, I went to the grocery store everything went up 10 cents and it may look like you know tomatoes used to be 89 cents a pound here in Texas 99 98 cents a pound I noticed the difference because I don't go to the shop I don't go shopping every day I was like, wow. Chicken is 112. It used to be 99 cents. On sale now it's 99 cents. Shoot. Hmm. You better save what you can with whatever however you can. Don't don't just go willy-nilly and give in to it. Just try to keep your stuff alive. It'll pay off in the end, I promise. Jamaica promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going around wetting everything down. Even though the mosquitoes are trying to get me, I'm pretty much covered up. But they're biting my ankles. <laughs> my ankles. Doggone it. 
me get this um let me get this this thing you know it's easier to keep stuff alive if it's in the ground in the pot you better water them jokers if it's in a pot you better water it you ain't got no choice And it's, I mean, I just watered this yesterday. Dry, dry as a chip, like it never happened. Never happened. Portero is, looks horrendous. It looks, I'm ashamed to show it to you. And I water it every day, but it's not enough. Comfrey is fighting for its life. And Comfrey basically grows like a weed. Oh boy. Spider plant. It looks like it's gonna die, right? And then you water and it spruces itself back up. I just wet everything because it has all those little, let me show you what I'm talking about. That's the spider plant right there. So if you see it drying out and it looks like it's dying, just go ahead and wet the whole plant down. Cause these little things have roots on it. It collects water through every, every orifice of its, of its being. <laughs> wet it down so the soil is wet but also wet these little these little suckers that are on it look at the tarot look at my poor tarot dried up let's turn to a brighter side <laughs> let's try to find something pretty <laughs> the asparagus is doing well it's ferny so I just, I just go ahead and I, I wet that down. When I wet water the plants, the asparagus gets the residual water from the plants. So you can tell it's happy. It's happy there. I wish I had planted more there. There's one in the pot right here that's not doing as well. I should have put that in the ground, huh? I will. Now is not the time though, because it's too hot and dry. Too hot and dry. Let's lay this down for a bit. So this bad boy can get some water. Let me show you the ground. All right. That's because I water over here. But when you step on this ground, it's hard as a brick. This is clay soil. Cracks are starting to show up. But we, it, I can't complain because last year, it was far worse. We had big old holes that developed. Look at the ground opening. This is Texas. This is Central Texas. This is how it is on the clay side all over the yard fault lines and I water because I have my plants here and I want my plants to stay alive and you can see where I water because it's like little oasis is <laughs> all dry 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 oasis dry 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 oasis <laughs> oh boy so the apricot tree is good doing good all three of them are doing well apricots seem to be uh, vibrant no matter what, they, 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 can, they can survive the dearth. That's what people call it. I call it a drought. People call it a dearth. And the dearth is when no flowers. You're not supposed to, well, very little flowers. And that's a problem because I have bees. My tomatoes are still putting out. They don't look too good, but they're putting out. They say we're going to get some rain this week. I pray that we do. But everything is green because I water. I water it. Even though my water bill is a little high, I water it. I water it. I'm trying to keep them alive. I'm going to lose this tree. And this tree has been with me for about 20 years. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much gone. I'm going to have to take it down. Blight. Blight might have got these two. These are apple trees. They're right next to it. Ah, man. Yeah, it's gone. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, sad day. Sad day. There's nothing I could do about it, so. Circle of life, right? I'll just make sure, try to make sure that there, it, I don't take this out I might burn this joke. I have a burn pit right over there for such a time as this. It's right there. See that rusty thing? That's what that is. It's a burn pit. Because I don't want this to get next to my pears. 
and there's a snail up there. Snails come when um, death, you know, something's dying. They're like the cleanup crew. They can't eat all of this, but snails are all over this tree. I see a couple of them on here. Yeah, see them? Right down here, snails. That's when you know something is, something is dying. Snails will show up. Or something is weak. Look at that. That is so sad. Some of it seemed like it's trying to fight back, but the man, look at that. Oh well, let's not get upset. Gonna take these three down and burn them. All three of them. I might not cut this tree completely down. I might just take all the branches off and see, see if it, that'll work. That's what I'll probably do. Cut all the branches off and see if I get new sprouts. We'll see. Hmm? I'm not ready to give up on it yet. I've had this thing 18, 20 years. So this is one of the first trees I bought because I know I bought that bench about 18 years ago to go around this bad boy. And these, uh, look at that. Anyway. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Pecan tree is doing good. I got three of them. That one, there's one in the garden and there's one right there. Plum trees are doing good. That's the other apricot tree. Here's the pe one peach tree, the one we planted last year and its sister is right there. So, moringa. Remember we planted these moringa out here? Gosh, look at these bees, man. I guess they're hanging out on the stoop for the, for the, for the evening. Look at them. So here's Moringa. Most of them are doing well. One of them look like it doesn't want to hang on, but I'm doing the best I can. I water them when I can. Got a lot of fruit on this one right here. Look at that. Look at the fruit. Fruity fruitsy. I look on the bright side. <laughs> always, 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 always. And this one is a, uh, what is this? This is another orange. And guess what? I got oranges on it. I just bought this tree. I got two oranges on that one. I think I got one on that one. Might have more than two oranges on this. But this is a Hamlin sweet orange. Look at them. Just as juicy, juicy as they want to be, but they're not ready. Just waiting, just waiting. This is Eureka, this is Eureka um, Lemon, I believe, I've had that for a while. Yep, and here's the other one, right there. I hope you are right, baby. I gave it some water yesterday. Citrus don't like a lot of water, by the way. You can ruin a citrus by giving it too much water. And of course, uh-oh, why are you dying? It's just that little spot. You know what this is, right? Ivy, just joking. These are sweet potatoes. A whole heap of them. I don't know how many sweet potatoes I'm going to get. I expect a lot. And I bought a special tool for it. Let me show you my new tool. My new tool. <laughs> I was so happy I had to order this online because I couldn't find it nowhere else. Let me turn this water off. That's why my water bill's high. This is my new tool. See that? That's a spade fork. A broad fork, I'm sorry. I put it behind here because I didn't want it to be unsightly, but yeah, that's my new tool. Y'all know I'm a gardener, right? <laughs> this is the update of what's going on out here. I didn't show you this table, but y'all know I got mangoes, um, asparagus, I don't know what that is. Guava. Got a little bit of everything here. Stuff that I just didn't get in the ground yet. Turn this water off. Not interrupt Miss 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 Spider Whiter right there. Where is she? You can't see her. Right there. So I thank you guys for being with me. It's getting late. I might be not be on for a little while. Um, well, I'll see. Might not be around here for a little while.
but if I don't see you, I'll see you in about a couple of days, okay? <laughs> Bye.